Do you want to know what the top 10 restaurants are here in Charleston, South Carolina? Well, we're going to get to it right after the intro. What's up everybody? It's Bill Olson here with Erie Wilder Realty. I am a local realtor here in Charleston, South Carolina, and I absolutely love making all these videos about what it's like to live, work, and play right here in Charleston. And today is no different. But before we begin, if you haven't done so, or this is your first time here, go ahead now, click that little subscribe button and ring that bell. It's gonna ensure that you get notified anytime I put out great content about what it's like to live, work, and play right here in Charleston, South Carolina. I absolutely love making these videos and I've been helping people from all over the country and the world move right here into Charleston. So if that's you, you, someone you know is thinking of moving to the area, please give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, smoke, throw up the smoke signals, whatever your preferred method of communication is, please let me know. I would love to help you. Now, let's get into the reason for this video, the top 10 restaurants in Charleston, South Carolina. These 10 restaurants are the top rated spots according to Google map searches. Well, let's get started. We're gonna start with number 10, and that is Moe's Crosstown. Moe's Crosstown is a sports bar located in downtown Charleston, right near Hampton Park. We've got a delicious menu, some great cocktails, cold beer, and just an all around good time. Moe's is definitely a neighborhood spot that welcomes locals and tourists alike. Number nine, Fig. Fig was established in 2003 with a simple philosophy. Serve honest, local ingredients with informed service in a comfortable setting. The menu at Fig changes often with the seasons and the availability of local ingredients, and they've got a wine menu to match. Fig, food is good. Number eight takes us to Magnolia's. Opened back in 1990, Magnolia's has been a forerunner in the culinary scene here in Charleston. They continue to please their guests with traditional Southern cooking mixed with a modern art flair. Number seven, D'Alessandro's Pizza. Brothers Nick and Ben D'Alessandro opened their pizza joint with one thing in mind, to make great pizza and serve cold beer. Not only are they incredible pizza makers, they're also making a difference in their community. I did an interview with Nick D'Alessandro. I'm, I'm gonna toss the link down below. Make sure you check that out and also follow him on his social channels and YouTube. You can find him at Pizza Watts. Number six, Five Church. Should it be number five? Well, number six. Fans of Bravo's Top Chef will recognize owner and executive chef Jamie Lynch from season 14. Fittingly located in an old church on Market Street, Five Church serves up American cuisine in a casual yet refined atmosphere. Number five, slightly north of Broad, Snob, as it is affectionately called, offers an eclectic low country bistro that brings together fresh local ingredients in a friendly atmosphere. Number four, Brown's Court Bakery. From breads to pastries to coffees to teas to their special holiday menus that offer pies, cakes, and cookies, Brown's Court Bakery strives to preserve the quality and variety of life that is Charleston. In addition to their storefront, they do also wholesale to a variety of local restaurants, including two on this list, Crew Cafe and Slightly North of Rod, and other local favorites like Edmund's Oast and Boxcar Betty's. Number three, Crew Cafe. Opened in 2002, Crew Cafe is located in an old 18th century Charleston single home on Pinckney Street, just about a block north of the market. They offer daily specials, indoor outdoor seating on their patios, a varied menu with a wine list to suit. Number two, Lewis Barbecue. This is one of my personal favorites on the list. Opened just in 2016, John Lewis brought his Texas style barbecue right here to the Low Country and cemented his place in the culinary scene. Right when you walk up to the restaurant, 
you'll notice the large custom smokers that were welded by John Lewis himself. The huge bar and large back patio offer guests year-round entertainment. This brings us to the number one restaurant on this list, and to no surprise of anyone, it is Hall's Chop House. Hall's Chop House is consistently on lists of top restaurants in Charleston, as well as the top steakhouses in the country. Owned and operated by the Hall family since 2009, they proudly serve USDA prime steaks from Allen Brothers in Chicago. But the steaks aren't the only highlight here. Make sure on Sundays that you visit them for their gospel brunch. It's something that can't be missed. Well, there you have it, folks. The top 10 restaurants in Charleston, as shown by the top rated Google searches in Google Maps. So again, if there's a restaurant on here that you love and didn't make the list, go ahead and drop it down in the comments so that we can know. Um, I'm always looking for new suggestions for my wife and I and our kids to go to as well. Remember, again, if you like this video, please share it with your friends, give a little thumbs up down there, and don't forget to subscribe and ring that little bell so that you're notified when I put out all this great content. Again, my name is Bill Olson. I'm a local realtor here in Charleston, South Carolina, I'm constantly making these videos about what it's like to live, work, and play, and in this case, eat in Charleston. Have a great day, and we can't wait to see you next time. Bye.